Hello. Algebra students, Mr. Lawrence here, and we're going to have... Oh, wait, I forgot to introduce our special guest friends. We have... Nicole. And... Jade. And... Captain America. And... Hurry Pink up, you Piggy. got the other. Pink Piggy. And... Whaley. Whaley. Blue Bonnie. Blue Bonnie. And Lammy. And Lammy. It's a full house on the bed as we're recording this lesson. All right, we're going to simplify rads and operations with rads. Now, we've already done the simplifying rad part, so just a quick refresher for you. Let me get my calligraphic pen out. Remember that we want to break this 72 up into uh, uh, factors. Now, if you know your perfect squares, and I know some of you do, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, where am I at? 8, 64, 81... 100, 101, oh, excuse me, 121, excuse me, sorry about that, oops, 121, 144, ooh, that's gross, and 169, 196, 225, 16 is 256, 17, 289, 18, uh, oh, I lost it. I keep going to 1. It can't be. It can't be. Hold on. I know 19 is 361 and 20 is 400. And I have a mental blank. Oh, I've got it. Okay, 324 for 18. Sorry about that. All right, get those memorized because they make this job so much easier. So I'm going to look at my perfect square list and see if any of these perfect squares are a factor of 72. Well, sure enough, 36 is. And so I'm going to break 72 down into 36 times 2. Now, 2 is prime, okay? 36 is 6 times 6 because it's a perfect square. Hey, we're doing some dating. The pair of sixes get to go out on one date. They get to leave the house. Mm -hmm. Who's left inside washing their hair? Oh, the two all by himself. Oh, poor two, don't worry. Some Someday a nice, nice loving two will come along and make you forget all about being lonely. All right, so that's simplifying rad 72. It simplifies to 6 rad 2. All right, now, rad 300. Well, that's an easy one because 100 goes into 300, and 100 is a perfect square. And it's 10 times 10, right? So I've got a pair of 10s going out on one date. The 10s leave the house. This time the 3 is left home all alone watching TV. <laughs> all right, there we go. So let's move down. Now we're going to do some problems that look like this. We're actually trying to add or do operations with the rads. Now, before we do it, take a look at this problem. We know that we can't just add all these together because they're not what? Brad? Brad, are you paying attention? Wake up, Brad. Oh, never mind. I'll go on to somebody that is paying attention. Lindsay. Lindsay. All right. Yes, that's correct, Lindsay. They're not like terms. So we could add a 3x squared. We, we can't add it to anything, so we just bring it down and we combine the like terms, right? I have four xy's here. And I have five more xy's there, so altogether I have nine xy's. And the three isn't a like term with anybody because he doesn't have a variable, so he just comes along for the ride. Now, we're going to be doing something very much like that with our, um, with our rads here. The only thing is, we can change the way these rads look so that they can become like terms. So let's do it. Let's break down rad 75. I know 25 is going to go in there. 25 times 3, and that's going to be 5 times 5. Now, by the way, if you can do this in your head, like I could have told you that, that that's going to simplify to 5 rad 3, go ahead and do it, okay? Here, 27. I know 9 is a perfect square. 9 is going to go nine times, 3 times 3. So I bet you that's going to simplify to 3 rad 3, okay? 20 is going to simplify to 2 rad 5. You make sure you do that. Make sure I did it right. I know you'll come tell me if I had a mistake. Right, Andrew? All right. And then there's a plus one. Now, if I look here and see what my like terms are, let me get out a highlighter. All right. I've got five rad threes. I've got three more rad threes. And you notice how I'm reading it? I'm reading it like it's a variable. I have five of these guys. I have three of the same guy. Now, these are rad fives, and there's two of them. Hey, buddy, don't climb on the bed and be silly while you're chewing, okay? Would I you like, like help getting up? I like... Come on up. Come on up. I'm in the middle of recording. the house. 
Yes, you like that? Yeah. Okay, so Captain America approves of me calling the rad a house. She keeps stepping on my airliner, though. All right, so then I have this plus one here, right? Okay, so let me see here. So now I am ready to combine like terms. All right, so five red threes and three red threes are eight red threes. The green ones don't combine with anybody. And there's a plus one. So that's as simple as I can go without estimating the value using a calculator. Remember, rad 3 and rad 5 are irrational numbers, and so I don't need to, uh, uh, if I use a calculator, I only get an estimated answer. This is an exact answer, and that's, ex that's the best it can be simplified. This is the exact answer. Okay, if I use a decimal, it's only a decimal approximation. All right, here's another one, and I've got rad 49. Well, rad 49 is just simply 7, isn't it? Okay, then I've got a negative 48, rad 48, which I think is going to simplify to 4 rad 3. You can check that for me. And then this is going to simplify to uh, a 2 rad 3, I think, a positive 2 rad 3. And then here, on 162. Well, let's see here. Uh, 1 and 6 and 2 is 9. So 9 is going to go into 162. I'm not sure how many times it'll go in, but I could do a little long division. Take a couple seconds, figure it out. So I do 9. 72 looks like it's going to go 18 times. So right now I have 9 times 18. I, I'm not going to break that 9 down because I just noticed that 18 is 9 times 2. And look at that, I got a pair of dates. The nines can go out on a date. So this is going to simplify to 9 rad 2. All right, if I go through and find my like terms, where are the like terms? Oh, like terms, where are you? There is just a number there. Here is a negative 4 rad 3 and a positive 2 rad 3. And then over here, I have a negative 9 rad 2. So when I put them together, I can combine the green ones. I'll have 7 minus 2 rad 3, because negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, right? Minus 9 rad 2. And there you go. All right, now we can also multiply or divide. I don't think I have any division in here, but it's done very simple. We'll talk about division another day. But multiplication, you know, first thing I'm going to do, there, there's two ways to approach this. One, I could simplify this and simplify this and then multiply, or I can multiply them together. I think in this one I'm going to multiply together, and I'll do the next one by simplifying, and you can decide which method you like better. So rad 20 times rad 10 is the same as rad 20 times 10. But you notice I didn't put them together, because to simplify it, I'm just going to take them apart again, so it'd be kind of silly for me to put them together when I'm just going to take them apart. So 20 breaks down to 2 times 10. Look at that. I've got a date. How exciting. The 10s can go out on a date. Sorry, two. We'll catch you later. Maybe we'll bring you some leftovers from the Chinese restaurant. There you go. All right, Captain America, I have a special mission for you. Can you accomplish it? I need another baby bell, please. Go, Captain America, go. Watch out for Hydra. Okay, now, to do number two, I could do it. Uh, I'm going to do it by breaking it down first and then multiplying. So I remember from before that 48 is, what, 16 times 3? And that will, 4 will become 3, oops, 4, because 16 is 4 times 4, so it'll be 4 rad 3. And he's getting it for me! And then I have to break down the 32, which is, what, 16 times 2? So that'll break down to 4 rad 2. Okay, now to multiply, it's real simple. I multiply the 4s together, and I multiply the 3 times 2. And again, I didn't combine them, because I wanted to see if I was going to have to break them down. It turns out they won't break down, so my best answer is 4 rad 6. There you go. All right, let's try a longer one here. All right, well, here's one where they're already broken down, so I'm just going to multiply 6 and 4 and get 24. And then I'll have red of 2 times 2. That will simplify. The 2s will go on a date, leaving nobody home alone. And so I'll have 24 times 2, 
which of course is 48. And again, nobody was left at home alone. All right, on this one here, I'm going to multiply the 7, the 2, and the 3. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, so I'm going to get 42. And then under the rad, I'm going to have a 3 times 5 times a 7. Now, there are no common factors in here. All three of those are prime, can't be broken down anymore. So I'm going to have a 42 times, uh, well, I could do 15 times 7, but that might not be as easy as 21 times 5 or 35 times 3. Because remember, in multiplication, the order doesn't matter. It's uh, um, the commutative property of multiplication, so I can change the order. So I'm going to do 35 times 3, because I believe that will come out to be 105. All right, there's your simplified answer for the product of rad 7 rad 3 times 2 rad 5 times 3 rad 7. There's your answer. All right, that's it for tonight's video. Watch it again if you need to. Mr. Lawrence, Captain America, Blue Bunny, Piggy, Lammy, Whaley, and all our other friends say good night, everybody.